Fatima, it's so nice to see you. How are you? Uh, okay, uh, thank you, Clara. Hello, hello, and uh, I'm okay, safe and sound here in Italy. Fatima was well known in Afghanistan for being the first and the only female tourist guide in the country, showing travelers from all over the world the beauties of Herat, her city and one of the most beautiful places in the country. Now, and after her successful rescue, Fatima is also well known in Spain. From Woolwalk, the largest online free walking tour platform in the world, we want to thank all the people who work on it, and to all the ones who made the audio about her viral and the urgent need to get her out of Afghanistan to save her life. We have no words. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fatima, it's so nice to see you. How are you? Uh, okay, uh, thank you, Clara. Hello, hello. And uh, I'm okay, safe and sound here in Italy. So uh, I, I just, from your channel, I just send my warm regards to all the people all around the world. And uh, just from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Uh, so you really supported me. You really just... Uh, send me lots of positive energy and uh, you know if I'm here right now it's because of you thank you so much actually when when I was in Harar I was thinking uh, this situation won't get worse from this much because I believed in the government and I I believe Taliban cannot even take Harar so uh, warn me that be careful because you are targeted so as the situation was getting worse and worse, I didn't like actually to leave Harad uh, uh, because my loved ones were, were there and my people, my students and everyone were there. So uh, because people were asking me a lot, my friends, uh, everyone was asking me, Fatima, you are in danger, get out of here. Uh, so I just uh, thought with myself uh, for the sake of the people who I love them and I just want to do something for them. So I have to live here because I need to be survived. If I want to do all these things, I, I just wish to do. I just uh, left Herat before Taliban came to take our town and also the Herat airport. So successfully, I just could came to Kabul. In Kabul, I was uh, staying in a dormitory. I just rented a room there in the dormitory. I was not thinking about leaving the country. I was thinking about this, that uh, I was waiting for the uh, Afghan uh, just government and the soldiers there and the people just take back the Herat and I turn back to Herat. I was thinking about this, so I, I don't know what happened uh, the day I wanted to just uh, leave uh, Kabul and just uh, uh, go to Pakistan. Uh, Actually, I had the flight the tomorrow of that day. The man or the manager of our dormitory just knocked our door and he told me that Fatima, you have to leave here. We cannot just protect you anymore. Taliban are coming and just hurry up because you don't have any time. So I was, I didn't know what to say and how to reply him. I, I, I was just shocked and I, I didn't know what to do. I took as my suitcase and also my backpack. I just get out of the dormitory. When I got, just got out, I, you don't know what the fuck was that. Everyone was shouting, running. There was no way for me to go. And I, I didn't know where to go because it happened suddenly. And I had no just... Uh, family or relative there to go to uh, their house so I didn't know what to do among the uh, among a lot of people I was feeling alone and I, I I didn't I was not at that time I was not thinking about Taliban I was thinking about the people who were terrified who were just shocked and uh, running just each one after each other so I was walking, I was walking just uh, with, with no uh, destination where to go and what to do. I was walking among the people, everyone was crossing me. Uh, you know, on that time I was just like this. I, I didn't have any chador with myself or a borka with myself. Everyone was shouting me, hey girl, you are crazy. Are you want to kill yourself? Do you want to kill yourself? 
why don't you have a Borja with yourself? Get out of here, go to your home. Everyone was telling me this. Uh, actually, I, I, I didn't know what to do. I was walking uh, on unknown streets among unknown people. Uh, then, uh, so uh, it was too, uh, in the afternoon that the dorm, I was I get out of the dormitory mm-hmm. and it was just um, eight uh, at night that uh, my phone rang and I answered that that was uh, just uh, the outer operator he called me and told me Fatima where are you I told them I'm just uh, walking here and I don't he told me what are you doing there and uh, come to my house so I just talked to a driver and he just uh, took me there on the way when we were dri- when he was driving in some parts they were Taliban and as I, I, I just saw them I, I just covered my fe- face with this scarf I had with myself and uh, I was praying it just if once they stopped the driver so thanks to God they didn't stop and we, we just get to there. Uh, I, I saw my other colleagues also, they were there and we just decided uh, because I missed the Pakistan flight on that day, they were Taliban, I couldn't go to event to the airport, so uh, uh, we decided to get out of here, so uh, beside you there were many other people who had my name on the flights list and I didn't know. The day we, we just stayed there and we couldn't get out, I was just staying in a room with two of my colleagues uh, who were girls too. We were staying there and we couldn't get out of there. The day we just decided to go to the airport for the flight, uh, actually it was uh, 12 at noon, we just left uh, Gul's house and we went to the airport. Uh, there, that, there, there was just the uh, worst than the day that Taliban just captured Kabul. Uh, Taliban just were shooting with guns. Uh, uh, they were hitting people, just uh, pushing them. Any kind of violence they could use to just annoy and violate the people. Uh, I, I don't know, and, and I don't know with what words they're just, uh, I can express their uh, behavior, but it was wor- it was worse than uh, what can everyone imagine in the world. Uh, you know, there, we tried a lot. We went there, Taliban just were hitting us, they were pushing us back, and uh, everyone was trying to get out of, to just get in in the airport, but they, they didn't let, even those who had some certificates with themselves or documents, they didn't let them. So we tried a lot till night, uh, nine at night, we couldn't enter to the airport and the situation has got worse. They were shouting with guns. Uh, there were lots of uh, sounds and uh, shouting. So uh, we didn't see any way to get into the airport. We went back and on the way, you know, also it was dangerous for us, but the good thing was we had the hijab with ourselves and Taliban didn't know us, couldn't see us. So we went back. Uh, I told them, let's try again. We could find someone to just get us near to the foreigner, just soldiers, and we just give him uh, $300. So he was a kind of in contact with Taliban and he just, from another way, he just took us near to the soldiers. There were also a lot of crowded, but the good thing was Taliban was not there. So there we could contact with the foreigner soldiers and uh, successfully an Italian soldier, he could find us and uh, just he just took us into the airport. Uh, on that time, I didn't know what to do to laugh at this situation, to laugh at the situation or to cry for the just uh, poor people who were sitting here and for the, my poor country who was uh, uh, captured by Taliban. So uh, hopefully I need to thank to the uh, 
Italian government, they focused to their camp and after just two nights suspending the air, we could come here in Italy. Actually, in, in Spain, I need to thank you first and your, your colleagues who worked on just to get out of me and then the uh, Spain government who just heard my voice and also I need to thank Italian government, American government, uh, the Poland just uh, people there in Poland and also in France who just tried to uh, get me out, actually the people who tried to get out. So I really need to thank them. Um, I, actually, uh, I think I'm nothing. It's people who are kind and they just like me. And, and this is uh, uh, what makes me stronger to, uh, no matter if I'm in, a, in another country, surely it's very hard. And leaving Afghanistan was the hardest decision in my life to leave all my country, my people and my loved ones there and to come here. But surely it was hard. But here I also need to restart my life. And I'm sure if no matter if I'm here, I can do something for my people there also. Because you were teaching, uh, because uh 